Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with this week's Will I Buy It? And this is week number four and Will I Buy It? number four and uh, as usual I will talk about some product and I will leave pictures here um, and yes we will start I just have to find the pictures and I am so <laughs> sorry about my hair today it's a catastrophe I hate it today I let it air dried last time I washed it and that's not good for my hair it looks like shit so I will have a ponytail today and I don't like to have ponytails when I'm filming but hey that's what we have to live with so I will start and I will scooch a little bit as usual and we can start with Urban Decay today again and they have now confirmed their Naked Cherry palette and also released a highlight, pal highlight and blush palette, lipsticks, two pen and an all nighter cherry scented spray. And I don't want to buy uh, the palette, I don't want to buy the lipsticks, I don't want to buy the what is it called the face palette and I don't want to buy the pens and I don't think and I don't want to buy the spray because I don't like scented sprays that much it's I want them to smell almost nothing <laughs> so I will not buy anything from this collection I don't think this is a fun collection um, so no, I will not buy anything from this and just no. Another thing that Urban Decay is releasing is, uh, this is holiday collection, it's September and the holidays collections are all over. I think it's a little, little bit too early. It's still a couple of months and we still have Halloween first but Everybody seems to have forgot about Halloween and just focusing on Christmas. Um, they are releasing three new heavy glitter liners. What I have heard, Urban Kiss glitter liners are good. But I usually don't use eyeliner. And it's nothing that I'm like, oh I want this. So, no. And I don't think it's such fun colors. If you're going to do a highlighter, um, no, a glitter liner for a holiday, maybe you should do a really, really bright red and maybe a green. Um, so this is a copper, a beige and gold, and a pink shimmer and peach. Uh, it's only the pink shimmer and peach and the copper that is new the third one is an old one so this is just a set and for holiday glitters no then we have Becca cosmetics is releasing an eyeshadow palette and I have never bought anything from Becca I when I first started doing makeup and see new brands and stuff I was really into their highlighters the Moonstones. I never bought one. Or Moonstone is maybe a color. Oh, their highlighter. They were so hyped a couple of years ago. But it's nothing that I want to buy. I have swatched them a couple of times. But it's nothing that is intriguing to me. And nothing that I have bought. And <sighs> Becca is not a brand that I want to try so I don't want this but yeah it looks like a fine palette it looks like all other palettes that are on the market right now so I don't want to buy this I am so negative in this video it feels like I don't want to buy anything but then we can talk about 
one thing I want to buy. Uh, Strobe Cosmetic is releasing a new palette. It's Divinity. Is it called Divinity? Divinity? Oh, okay, yeah. It looks like this and they have now released the colors. I hated that with Strobe because they have sneak peeked this palette for a long long time and now they are releasing the shadows and I will leave a picture with the shadows here and the <laughs> yellow one, the red one and also the green one I really 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 want because I think they look amazing. I have the Creepy Cute palette and it's one of the best palettes I have. So I really want this palette, but <laughs> Strobe Cosmetics is an indie brand based in the US and the shipping and the customs is total shit. So I wish I had the makeup friend in Sweden so we can buy this together and split the cost of the taxes and shipping, but I have not a Swedish makeup friend. That I'm that friend with. What a strange sentence. Um, but I think I will buy this palette because these colors look amazing. And if they are like the creepy cute palette, these colors is going to be awesome. We have Kylie Cosmetics is coming out with single shadows and also a magnetic palette. I never tried anything from Kylie Cosmetics. I don't like the Kardashian family or the Jenner family. At all, I don't watch Keep Up With The Kardashians, I don't understand the hype about the whole family and the whole thing. So I don't want this. But some of the colors seems interesting, but this is nothing I'm going to buy because I don't like the Jenner family, the Kardashian family, I don't understand anything about that. So I will not buy this. Too Faced is releasing a holiday collection, a Christmas collection and I think they are every year releasing like a little house with products in um, I see if I can find any pictures and I think they are releasing that as well and they are seems like they are releasing small palettes of existing palettes like Too Faced Sweet Peach, they are releasing a little Sweet Peach palette, I think. And also they are releasing a gingerbread um, eyeshadow palette and also gingerbread uh, liquid lipstick, gloss liquid lipstick. Yeah, melted matte. I've tried some things from uh, Too Faced. Um, I love the Better Than Sex mascara, but sometimes it feels like they are make doing makeup for kids, even though it's not suitable for kids. Like a year of great sex, and it's cartoony things on it, and it feels like it is a package for kids, but then a year of great sex. I don't know what I think about this. I'm not completely okay with it, if we say so. And the other things are very childish. And... Uh, no. It doesn't seem like a brand that are for grown-ups. But I think makeup are for grown-ups. Kids should not worry about how they look and buy expensive makeup and yeah, that's another topic so <laughs> I'm not going to buy anything of this. I don't know if it's even come to Sweden because Sweden is not so good at these things, holiday collection <laughs> and all that but I'm not going to buy this and I think Too Faced should do more grown-up stuff because this is not cute, it's not something I want to buy. Do I even make sense? Something from Colourpop and they are releasing a second collab with makeup by Sheila. Sheila? Sheila? I don't follow her. I'm not that into Colourpop with all their collabs and stuff because 
Colour pop is hard to get a hand of in Sweden. It's expensive to get it to Sweden, so I don't I don't want to care because I don't want to see what I'm missing out of. So usually yeah. I don't keep track of Colourpop. They're releasing a makeup bag and a lip bundle. And I think this is most ultra matte and I have tried some of the ultra matte liquid lipsticks and I think they're shit. It's one of the worst matte liquid lipstick I have ever tried and I have tried a lot. So I don't want this at all. It's nothing I'm going to buy. Okay, uh, Morphe are releasing a new eyeshadow palette. 35V Stunning Vibes Artistry palette. I have not tried anything from Morphe. I think I want to try some of their eyeshadows, but their eyeshadow palettes are often big as a fudge and I don't have place for it and I don't know if I'm going to use all the colors in such a big palette. And this palette is seems to be shimmery palette. I don't know if it's if Colourpop, no Colourpop, if Morphe usually do shimmer and glitters. I think it's a good variety of colors. Some blues, some pinks, some reds, some browns. But it's nothing I'm going to buy because I think it's too much glitter to have like an everyday palette and it's such a big palette. So, no. But I think it looks good, but nothing for me. Okay, friends and family. We have also, yeah, Makeup Geek is releasing a new palette. I have a palette for Makeup Geek and I have some single, single shadows. And I love them. Makeup Geek is a really good brand, I think. And they are doing amazing eyeshadows. But this eyeshadow palette, even though it's up my alley, it's colors I like. I think it looks a little bit boring and um, they're not releasing so many palettes at all <laughs> and when they are I think they should do something more fun. And this seems like just whatever palette is out there and it's called Pumpkin Spice. I think they could have done something a little bit more fun, a little bit more orange maybe. So I'm not gonna buy that, but I love Makeup Geek. I just want to have it out there. Something I saw uh, on Instagram, I think it was yesterday, the day before that. I was scrolling around in brands and stuff and I come across Love Lux Beauty. And a shade from there, I think it's, yeah, it's a new pressed pigment. It's called October. And it was like calling for me and I was like I need to have that color in my life but I think it's sold out already and this is one of the most prettiest shades I have ever seen I need this shadow in my life the other one the other eight I don't give a shit about but this October I have to have it in my life I have to have it it's like the prettiest thing I have ever seen. And I'm gonna drown my sorrows in Pepsi because it doesn't seem like I can get it. I'm pissed off. You know when you see something you have never seen it before? Like in two seconds you feel like I need to have that in my life and then in the next second you see that you can't and your whole world is like collapsing and you're like okay I just have to see if it's is it available? it's available! okay mm, I have to buy this when I am finished with this video because it's the most prettiest eyeshadow I have ever seen it's not sold out anymore I'm gonna buy it okay um, next up we have Blush Tribe, yes, I'm going to talk about Blush Tribe yet again. It feels like the only thing I ever talk about. Um, I talked about, I think it was last week, their new Fall Fusion palette. And now 
it's going to be a limited edition and when I heard it and I have seen all the swatches now I want it okay. last week I was not sure now I'm sure I want that Mother Fudging palette because the swatches look amazing <sighs> I don't need more eyeshadow palettes but I really want this one and I'm a little bit angry with myself because I'm doing this I shouldn't be out on Instagram and checking on new releases every fudging week but yeah I want this it looks the swatches look amazing and they have also sneak peeked or not sneak peek they have put up a picture of a palette that is coming next year maybe in spring next year and it looks amazing I have two palettes here at home from Glass Drive that I have not tried when I'm recording this. I think I'm going to try them today, so I'm going to wash this off and try one of the, their palettes. And yeah, this new palette that's coming next year looks also amazing. And this I want to buy. My birthday is in spring, so it's in March. So hopefully I can wish for this for my birthday next year. <laughs> I think this looks really really good and if I love the shadows from the palettes I have at home already and now it's a little bit dark I think. Uh, I'm going to super buy this because it looks amazing. And maybe that was everything I was going to talk about today. It feels like I have been all over this video. But I haven't filmed in a couple of days and in a week maybe and when I then film it's just like I will never stop talking so I'm sorry for that. But yeah. I So there are some things I really want to buy and some things I just puke on. So I really hope you enjoy this video and please give it a thumbs up and if you're not so subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss anything any one of my videos so i really hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye